Today, I'm gonna to show you what my day looks like as a pain management doctor. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Hills. I'm a pain management doctor here in Northern Utah. My purpose here is to help relieve all types of pain really and to help improve function, get people back to doing the things they love to do. As part of my training, I've done four years of medical school, uh, four years of residency training, and then just finished up a one year pain management fellowship. So today, I'm gonna to show you what my day looks like as a pain management doctor. Okay, just before 8 a.m., just walking in, getting to the office. It's gonna be another great day today. So this is my office. First, I'm gonna start prepping for the patients for the day. I look at my schedule and then look at all my patients and try to do a little bit of charting first just to be prepared for when they come so I can maximize our time so that we can get the best care for them. All right, so paper on the wall means patients here. So we're gonna take their face sheet and then gonna take a knock and then visit. All right, so this is a typical uh, patient exam room. This is where I first meet the patients and try to figure out where their pain's coming from so that we can give a good diagnosis and then be able to treat that pain. So we see patients that have pain that can be coming from anywhere. So head, shoulders, knees, and toes, could be, could be anything. And so we have certain tools that we use to help kind of figure out where it's coming from. In the clinic here, uh, we use an ultrasound machine which helps us to look at the muscles, ligaments, nerves, and is one of the tools that we have to, to help with our clinical assessments. This is a really neat tool that I use daily. And uh, let me just show you a couple of things of, of what I do. One easy thing that we can do is, is take a look at some of the muscles and nerves in my arm here. So if I squirt a little gel here on my arm, then we just place the probe over here. We can take a look at the different muscles and nerves we have here. So in the center of the screen, we see the median nerve. This is my median nerve right here, this little circle there. This may be helpful, for example, in people that have something called carpal tunnel syndrome, where this nerves get a little bit squished in the wrist. And so we do different treatments to help with that, bracing, uh, medications, uh, sometimes physical therapy. Then if it's not improving, we can do ultrasound guided injections, or if it's bad enough, then we'll refer it to one of our surgical colleagues. We gotta clean the skin first, right? So we use a little bit of chloroprep to clean the area. And then we use some sterile gel in a way to help prevent in infection when I'm doing these injections. I use this to inject all types of joints. So we can do hip joints, SI joints, shoulders, knees, um, but also do a lot of nerve blocks. So we have a lot of nerves in our bodies and depending on where you have pain, sometimes we can block those nerves to also give pain relief. Okay, done in this room. So let's go take a look at some of the other areas in the building that we use to help with uh, patients. Okay, so this is an area where we do x-rays. So sometimes I will order x-rays if depending on where the patient's pain is and they don't have any imaging and if it's been a certain amount of time, then we'll get x-ray images to take a closer look at, at, what they, at what their anatomy looks like. So sometimes the pain just isn't getting better and we gotta do more than, than just some of the conservative treatments. So that's when I start to do injections. And so when people come for injections, they usually meet them in this room here, which is kind of the pre-injection room, where we'll do a, another kind of initial assessment, make sure they don't have any fevers, chills, they haven't taken blood thinning medications, depending on which injection I'm doing. But this is where I meet with them and, and make sure that they understand what's gonna happen and, and that I can answer any questions that they have. Part of making sure they know the process and they don't have any questions is we use uh, Skeletor here to help show what we're gonna do. So usually we'll flip them around because the majority of the things we do is really in the spine here, um, whether it's a cervical or neck injection or mid back or low back, this can help kind of show what we're doing. So for example, if we are doing an epidural steroid injection, then it may be helpful to show them which level we're gonna do that at and which approach. So for example, if someone comes in with low back pain, very common, then I need to figure out where that low back pain is coming from. 
So is it coming from the joints in the low back? Or could it be coming from the sacroiliac joint between the sacrum and the ilium? There's a joint here. Could it be from the muscles and ligaments just outside of these bones here? Um, so, or could it be from the nerves? And so there's a lot of different things to take into account and a lot of structures that are really close to each other. And so we just have to really be careful and, and really figure out where the pain's coming from so that we can treat it appropriately. I'll examine the patients and then we'll check their vitals, make sure that those are stable as well, and then we'll head into the procedure room. So this is the procedure room where we do a lot of our injections when we need x-ray guidance. And so this is a x-ray machine right here or fluoroscopy machine. And this is one way that we can be safer when we're doing these injections. So we use the x-ray to guide the needle uh, to the point target that, that I'm trying to get to. And then after that, as a second safety check, I put a little contrast dye that we can see also on the x-ray to make sure that we're in the right spot and also that we're not in any blood vessel. So I don't have a patient right now, but I'm just gonna show you what a typical procedure setup would look like. So the patient comes in, help them up onto the procedure table here. Most procedures, they'll be laying on their stomach. Um, there's a little hole in the table here where they can breathe, so it's kind of like you know massage table. Uh, again, trying to get them nice and comfortable. And then there's a little folder here where they can rest their arms as well, just to get as comfortable as possible. So once I have the patient in position on the table, we will also hook them up to other equipment to monitor their vitals throughout the procedure to make sure they're, they're stable. Um, and then we'll move the x-ray equipment into, into position. Depending on, again, which injection we're doing will determine where we'll position the x-ray machine. But we'll position the x-ray machine um, over the patient and then begin taking a series of, of x-rays to line up where we're going. So before we start taking any pictures, any x-rays, we need to make sure that everyone's covered up. So we do that by wearing these lead aprons. And so, easy to put on. Um, there's a lot of different types, but they just kind of wrap around and then you got both the shoulder and then a hip strap just to help kind of support the area. And then there's also a little thyroid shield as well to help with that. Now, we want to make sure that we're staying sterile, so we use sterile technique to also help decrease risk of infection. So, I'm going to put on my mask now. Then I like to draw up my medications and depending on the type of procedure I'm doing will determine if I'm using like a steroid or not or what type of numbing medication. And so those will be placed here where I'll draw them up into syringes uh, for the injection. Okay, I'm done with the injection. Now it's time to meet the patient in the recovery area. All right, so this is the recovery room where I usually meet patients after the injection to make sure that they're okay um, before sending them on their way home. So when I'm not with the patient, then there's a lot of things behind the scenes that I end up doing. Charting on the patients, writing my notes, I'm answering phone calls that my medical assistant is bringing to my attention. I also am prescribing medications, i in contact with insurance companies, other providers, coordinating care, so lots that goes on behind the scenes. All right, done with the day today, heading out the door, usually done around five or six, and then heading home to see the family. If you like the video today, do two things for me, subscribe and push that bell. And I'll see you guys next video.